Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to show you some great after timeout basketball plays that you can run that are very simple to set up if you just need to draw something up during a 30 second timeout. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you're a football coach, check out my other channel, Football Coach Alan. I post football plays, drills, and skills on there as well. But anyways, today I'm going to show you some really great basketball plays that are quick and easy and simple to set up on a clipboard for your team to follow when you draw it up at a 30 second timeout and you just need to get a quick easy basket. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out these basketball plays. Okay, so here we are going to start with a low 1-4 basketball play. Now the idea behind this one is to get either a three point shot on one of the sides or a simple screen and roll layup down the middle. So to start what we are going to have is player three is going to set a screen on player one now I should mention that most of these plays I'm going to show you today are going to be against a man-to-man -man defense because 90% of the time, or at least in my experience, when you're running maybe 15 or 20 seconds left in a game and you need to get a quick basket, a lot of teams are going to be playing a man-to-man -man defense because there's more coverage versus a zone. But we're going to have a screen and roll set or started with player three screening for player one. At the exact same time, we're going to have a staggered screen with player four and five on player two. Player two is going to be popping out to this corner and player one is going to be using player three as a screen and roll. So we may have an open three point shot here, we may have an open three point shot or mid range shot here, or we might have player three, if this was a switch, especially if this was a switch, we may have an opening down the middle of the key and if there is help defense happening here, there may be a player four or five open for a nice easy layup on their ends or if there isn't and there's a mistake happening and these guys just don't see what's happening player three might get a nice floater or a layup down the middle of the key which would be absolutely fantastic if you only needed one or two points to tie or win so now in our second play what we're gonna have is a three out two in basketball play we're gonna have player two setting a screen for player one and at the same time, we're going to have player three screening down for player four. Now what's going to happen here is we're going to have player one using that screen. We may have an open three-point shot or mid-range shot from that area. If there's a switch, we may have player two screen or rolling towards the basket and possibly being open. Or what we could have is player four is popping up to the three-point line. And what's going to happen here is we may have player four open for a mid-range or three-point shot on the other side of the court. And, well, let's just hope that either we, we hit a three or a mid-range or three here or a layup going down the middle. Now, if player two does get that ball and player four or player five go and play help defense, we may have a stack on this side because there was that screen and roll. We may have three players playing help defense. And if that's the case, we might have a full out four players guarding one player here. So we may have, if player 5 and player 3 get closer to the baseline, they may be open for layups, or player 4 may be open again for a 3-point shot as well. This would be kind of a second option on top of the option we already had with player 4. Now I'm going to be running in our third play a 4-out offense. Again, something very simple as well that we, you, can, you can kind of draw up in about 30 seconds. And what we're going to have here is... We're going to have player one pass the ball to player four and player one is going to go and set a screen across the court for player two. At that same exact time, we're going to have player five setting a screen on player four and player four is going to use that. So there may be a mid-range or a three-point shot happening here, especially if there's a switch. There may be player five rolling towards the basket who may be open here and player two may be open at basically the point for player four to pass for the three-point shot. So what we are looking for, player five is our number one option, player two is our number two option, and player four is kind of our third option. If he's open, he has to definitely hit that shot. 
Now, in our fourth play, what we are going to have is player three popping up just to about maybe the 45 degree angle from the key. And we're going to have player three or player three receive the pass. Player one passing player three the ball. And player one is going to go and screen across for player two while player five is back screening for player four. Now, we're going to have two options. We're going to have a layup here or a three point or mid range shot here. Those players are going to be player two and player four. And most likely, we want player four to be open. This is going to be our first option, especially if we only need one or two points. Or player two is going to be another option for us. Now, what player two needs to keep an eye on, and how I would explain it is, player two, once you come off of player one, what we want is for you to look at your defender. Is he caught on player one, and is player one red not hedging? If he's not hedging, we want player two to then cut towards the rim because un unless we need a three-point shot, if we don't need a three-point shot, we want you to cut towards the rim because now, of course, the closer you are to the basket, the easier it is to score. However, what we are looking for here is one of these two players who is either fighting through the screen or player five who is going to go and play help, he is going to be going and if player two gets cut off by player five, we have player four who is absolutely wide open or if player five is a better player or more consistent player, you just see player five first, player five should be boxing out or sealing player four away from the basket where he may just have an easy shot himself. Now I'm going to I will show you against a 2-3 zone defense one play because obviously there's always going to be that coach who will only play zone defenses. So if that's a coach that you're playing against and you absolutely know that they're going to be running a zone defense against you what you can run is this play it's going to be a high one for offense and if you need two points or three points this is going to be absolutely fantastic for you because while well, player one and two because the point guard is on the point there he's going to be getting double teamed if he's not getting double teamed it's going to be single coverage and player two dropping back a bit almost like a one one three which not doesn't necessarily exist but it's basically a 1-1-3, one, one, uh, especially near the end of the game. That's what they may be running just so that they can cover the high post. Now, if that's the case, what we want is player four to set a screen on player three, who's really down low here. What we want here is player three to pop up. This could be a three-point shot. That could be a quick-hitting three-point shot. This can happen on this side as well. Those are both opportunities. Now what we want, if player 3 is not a very great shooter, we want him to drive towards the rim. The reason for this is that's going to grab player 2 and player 5 towards him and player 5 blue can then just kind of sneak down to the low block. If player 4 starts sneaking down he needs to seal him and at this time we're going to have player 5 blue for a layup. Or, well, obviously player 4 blue is going to be popping out and that may be collapsing player 3 in. We may have player 4 open for a 3-point shot. Or we may have player 2 open for a 3-point shot as well. But if you just need a two, point, two points to tie or, one, or at least one point to, uh, to tie, you may be looking at player 5 for a layup. That would be a really great option. Or if you definitely needed some three-point action, player four would definitely be your first option and player two would be your second option. You generally don't want to go passing over that half or mid-court uh, line basically because if he does pass player four red, may be able to pick that off. So we really want player four to be open here. Now, I hope that you have enjoyed these after timeout basketball plays. These are quick, easy plays that you can draw up in 30 seconds, explain to your team what each player is going to do, and then from there, they will be able to run it on the court. These are quick, simple, one or two screen basketball plays. They should be able to run this anywhere from grade seven and up fairly simply or very easily anyways i hope that you have enjoyed if you have hit that like button subscribe let us know in the comments below if any of these plays helped your team win the game and i'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video basically through skype i can train with you one on one or one on a group one or the other so if you are interested in that click the link in the description it's called online basketball training basically we'll be using skype 
to be able to train with you. All you need to do is have a set of wireless headphones, a cell phone, tablet, or laptop with a webcam, and we are able to train one-on-one. -on -one. All you need to do is take it to your local gym, as long as they have Wi-Fi, or to the park, or you can do it in your backyard, and we can I can help you become a better basketball player. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe, or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also, the opposite direction, or the opposite side, is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.